Hey guys, welcome to Nightbelt. My name is Adam, and in light of the new Spider-Man Homecoming movie, I'll be showing you guys how to make this awesome Spider-Man Homecoming poster from nothing more than just spray paints and masking tape. So let's get started. You are only going to need 4 materials for this project. First, you need some sort of canvas to work on. For this, I'm going to use an MDF board I got from Daiso. It's a 40 by 30 cm board, but you could use any piece of plywood as well. You also need to print a template in the description onto an A4 size piece of paper. You need lots of masking tape. And lastly, you're also going to need red, blue, white and black spray paints. Now the first thing you're going to do is shade the back of the template with a blunt pencil. And once you've done that, paste it onto the MDF board. Once pasted, use a sharper pencil to trace over the template and the border. And then remove the template and you should see the image transferred onto the MDF board. But don't throw away the template just yet because we're going to use that as a guide for the color scheme later on. Now that we have our image transferred, go ahead and take a large piece of plastic and wrap it around the board down to the front and paste it down just a little outside the border of the template. Then tape down one long piece of masking tape on each side just along the outside border of the template. Now these two steps are just to protect any areas that are not supposed to come in contact with the spray paints. So once you've done that, go ahead and decide which colour you want to start spraying first. I decided to start with red, so I covered all areas that are not labelled red with masking tape. Now certain areas may be a bit harder to cover because of their weird shapes. For these areas, I have a little trick and that is to take a small piece of masking tape and paste it lightly onto the paper template. And this should transfer some of the pencil lead from the previous step onto the tape so that you can cut out along the lines. Also, if you encounter any long, thin areas that you have to cover and your tape is too thick, what you can do is place some masking tape onto a cutting board and use a pen knife and a ruler to cut out the appropriate length. So go ahead and take your time, cover up every single area that needs to be covered. And once you're done, go ahead and check that you didn't leave out any areas. So once you're confident that you covered all the areas correctly, go ahead and take your spray paint and apply 2-3 to three thin layers onto the board. Now be careful not to go crazy with the paints at this step because if you apply too much paint, it's going to be hard to remove the masking tape later on. In fact, a very thin layer will look a lot better later on because it will give it more of a spray painty effect. Now once you spray painted the board, leave it for about 10-15 to 15 minutes for it to dry completely. Then pick it up and we can start on the next colour of your choice. In my case, I chose blue. So go ahead and remove any tape that's covering any of the blue areas and cover the rest that is not supposed to be painted blue. And again, take your time because you do not want to leave out any areas and mess it up at this step. And again, once you're confident that you pasted everything correctly, go ahead and take your blue spray paint and apply 2-3 to three layers again. And keep repeating this process with the black and the white areas as well. And once you're done with that, you can finally start to take out all the tape from the board. Now this is either the most satisfying or the most frustrating part of the entire project because this is where you find out if you screwed up somewhere along the way. Now lucky for me, it turned out exactly the way it's supposed to turn out and I couldn't be more happy about that. Now you're just going to need a few more touch-ups before you're finally done and that is to number 1, trace the Spider-Man logo on his chest with a thin marker and then go ahead and trace the border with a thicker marker and lastly erase away any remaining pencil marks and that's it, you're done! Hey guys, I hope you guys like this project. It's a very simple project to do, 
but it does take quite a bit of time. I think the pacing part alone took me a good two to three hours to complete. But if you have the time over the weekend, I think this makes a great weekend project and it's well worth the time. I think it looks just awesome. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, if you did, remember to leave a like down below, follow me on Instagram and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future projects. So that's it for me today guys. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay awesome. Bye.